the game in my hand If you know me, I ain't playing, I ain't playing, little nigga About to slide to a hick time, bitch, you know how I'm coming Like said, blood sweet, so bitch, you know how I'm bumming Four, five bitches with me rolling blunts by the stun You get you higher than a kite, mob like nothing to suck I knew that Keith Chan again before Such and such piece came with the grade specified But kept on insisting that we did not want him to take it if it was unsuitable for their purpose and he finally got to the point where he felt guilty every time he put a piece in the rejected pile. And at last, he saw that the mistake was on their part for not having specified as good a grade as they needed. The ultimate outcome was that he went through the entire car load again after I left, accepted the whole lot, and we received a check in full. In that one instance alone, a little tact, and the determination to refrain from telling the other man he was wrong, Saved my company a substantial amount of cash. Well, you can add moderators and all that on here. On the goodwill of the That's cool. Martin Luther King was asked how, as a pacifist, he could be an admirer of Air Force General Daniel Chappie James, then the nation's highest ranking black officer. Dr. King replied, What's the deal, I judge people by their own principles, not by my own. Yeah, In a similar way, man. General Robert E. Lee once spoke to the president of the Confederacy, Jefferson Davis, in the most glowing terms about a certain officer under his command. Another officer in attendance was a star. General, he said, do you not know that the man whom you speak so highly is one of your vigorous enemies who misses no opportunity to malign you? Listen to um, this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. He did not ask for his opinion. Probably like my third, fourth time listening to it. Jesus said, agree with thine adversary quickly. And 2,200 years before Christ was born, King Tuck, Lord, I see it. What else? Advice for the sword and needed today. Be diplomatic, counsel the king. It will help you gain your point. In other words, don't argue with your customer or your spouse. Hey, what y'all think about that uh, Ferrari truck? Y'all say the Ferrari truck or the uh, Rolls Royce truck? I'm torn in between both of them. I love Ferraris. I love Rolls Royces. But I love trucks, so one of them, I gotta get either the Ferrari truck or I gotta get that Rolls truck. They talking about they only want 80 down. Bro, I'm different. Green me. Green like green shirt. Green 263 shirt. I'm different. Now you can match or you can BK match. BK matching is making sure you matching from the head to the feet. From the head with the Gucci green. Y'all can't even see. This that cashmere Gucci. Y'all can't see this shit. But you got to match from the head, the Gucci cashmere hat, to the Gucci side. Telling y'all, you can match or you can BK match. Couture, what up, bro? There's only one way to do this shit, man. Right. For real, for real. You my only... Like, listen, next to the OGs, bro, you my only inspiration in this shit. Straight up. If you don't know who a nigga like me watching, bro, I'm watching you. You my only influence in this shit. Then I go back and look what the old school... You know, the OGs did. And see how I can like take it, but innovate it, you know, do it my way. But that's what you gotta know. I have no alibi, no excuses. You warned me last week that if I brought the dog out here again without a muzzle, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can't fuck with a nigga that ain't standing on his business in every aspect. I don't know, just with this, I, I can't fuck with a nigga that ain't standing on that business. And you know, popping it, chopping it. Looking like it, acting like it. 
I don't want to see no weird. If I see a nigga with a weird comment, bro, I'm like, I'm cool. I'm off it. And then I want I'm, I'm a hard motherfucker to be around. So if I see you conversate with a nigga that I damn near already know he doing lascivious things, you get what I'm saying? And you feel me? He all out of bounds and out of pocket with this shit. If I see a nigga conversate with him, then I'm all mad. Like, oh, yeah, I ain't fucking with dog. Birds of a feather flock to motherfucking guts. Straight up. What's the deal, y'all? I got a white girl cooking me chicken. The irony. <laughs> Hey, that chicken done? Is it done? Let me see how it looks, man. Come on, we're done over here. Oh, I thought you was making fried chicken. What's that? Why I got that? That's something new. What's that? Say about yourself all the derogatory things you oh, know. It's like a casserole? No. I don't know why I thought you was making some fried chicken, man. What too? Oh, chicken stir fry. Okay. All right, that go with my diet, so shit, it's cool. Back to what I was saying, bro. If I, if I don't see it, it's straight lacing. Like, I ain't trying to see you nigga doing no funny business on here, playing and laughing and joking and he, 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 and chatty patty girlfriend with the bitch and all that shit, man. This is weird to me. For real. Because I just be sitting back looking like, all right, when you tune into some real shit, and I see the same niggas playing, all right, now some real shit on the line. And now niggas is tuning in, and I see niggas in the motherfucking thing. And I don't be seeing niggas say 100 or nothing. I don't see niggas agreeing or nothing. So I just be thinking in my mind, like, what would be niggas point for real? You don't hear listening to the real shit, but then you get off the shit, and you do whatever. What would be niggas point? Do you just want to show a nigga that you in here? You want to act like you a part of it? Mm. So that's a lot of niggas out here. I see these niggas all the motherfucking time. Looking like they need to uh, go to the homeless shelter. For real, for real. And I be seeing niggas uh, get that shit on, uh, what's that shit called? They be at the pawn shop going crazy and then get on here take all kind of pictures. Act like they doing it, man. I see these niggas around all the time, man. I get these niggas. Hey, listen, bruh. If you heard, hear about niggas talking about they in Detroit, for real, for real, and if a nigga say they see me, they lie. If a nigga say I ain't came through, and the whole atmosphere of the motherfucking whole setting change once I come through, it's on. I see all these niggas when they come through, and then they tell their partners to fly out. I see all these niggas. I just seen out with the niggas. I act like I don't see these niggas. It ain't no no big, you know, no big P, little P, man. But I act like I don't see you. Straight up. Get my drink. Give me a bottle. Turn it on niggas. You feel me? I will. I talk to a nigga. I see. You feel me? That's doing it right, or you feel me? Attempting to, but a nigga just being so blatantly disrespectful with this shit, then running around acting like they this, they that, man. Hell no. And then there's been so many instances, too, where I done seen these niggas, right? And my shit running through everything, moving, like, they crushing everything out here. So it ain't like a nigga can say some weird shit, because niggas see it, and they seeing the results of my thoughts. But when I see these niggas, then I hear about their gang, and then I slide up on the nigga, pulling their culture, like, hey, listen, you know, I'm getting word that this, this, that, and the third going down, you know? You know how niggas be. Want to get mad. Want to act like it ain't that. Want to, you know. I wish, listen. If I was anything that's belong to me. Not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And not moving and functioning. 
in a way that is supposed to be functioning. Even my child, and I'm not around. If you come tell me, I'm going to check that. Straight up. So when I, I pull a nigga coat to because shit, I'm here, and niggas don't check that, and then I see it for myself, and then I, you feel me, my people ain't going to lie to me, so they're going to send me videos, pictures, and all that shit of motherfucker girl going crazy, being all in niggas' faces, and all kind of shit. So once I tell a nigga something, and I see the nigga not going to correct, bro, I don't fuck with these niggas. For real, I don't give a fuck. These niggas running around here, clicking up, making themselves look like this bigger, and they doing all of this, that, and the third, man. Nigga ain't doing it right, nigga. You ain't doing nothing. Straight up. I be on this motherfucker alone. On real nigga island by myself. How about I be telling you, come out here, bro. Come out here. It's the world out this motherfucker. Motherfuckers ain't playing no games though. And the motherfuckers that is, you gonna see it. Mm-hmm. Bro, I'm telling you. Listen, 80% of these niggas, I'm talking about I done seen all of them. Like when you hear me say all of them, all of them, bro. If it was a nigga that I, that I could tell you that has came through this motherfucker or that in this motherfucker and they actually doing what they say they doing, you'll see me around. You'll see me following them. You know those niggas in my city claiming it. Tough, tough. I don't see the results for their thoughts. Not with them. Not with anybody around them. So I won't be around these niggas. No way, no how. And there was a point in time where I did. When I first, you feel me? I did. But when I seen certain shit, didn't let certain shit fly. I say, okay, motherfucker just collecting a check. Okay. I see what it is. Because but before I'd be disrespected, before I let a motherfucker do whatever they fuck they gonna do. And we can run the time. I start over. And I'm glad that I had a good example of you, bro, in the beginning. Because at first I couldn't fathom that shit. And you know I always bring up this shit. This nigga you was at 10. I couldn't fathom that shit. I say to you, I say, bro, what, why you ain't trying to? Man, hell no. I know what this motherfucker did. If they was going to do it, they would have been did it. I say, you know what? I respect it. And once I started looking at that shit like that, man, come on. They can't tell me nothing. A motherfucker can't tell me nothing. A motherfucker can't tell me they having a hard time. A motherfucker can't tell me it's slow. This, this, that, and the third. No, it ain't shit a motherfucker can tell me. If the motherfucker want to do it, they're going to do it straight up. And you're going to see the results of their thoughts. What's the deal, though? What is the deal? Rory truck. When I said the Rari truck or the double R truck, they talking about get up 80. 80, we can get in it. And we can be living good and comfortable. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm really just trying to figure it out. Because that's going to be too crazy. 63. I got a Jeep. I got, I got some shit here. And add that motherfucking double R to the motherfucking Durango. Add that fucking double R to the fucking the family over that Rory truck. Man, they ain't seen that shit yet. Man, they ain't seen that shit in their fucking dreams. Man, I gotta look at that shit. Hey, listen, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Remember I said I wasn't going to do the green meat, but then I ended up doing it. Look, what am I going to do? These? Or I could fuck them up and do these. This something like nobody would even expect me to do some shit like that. 
But listen, nobody would expect me to do some shit like that. It don't match with them, but you know I can pull it off. Look, when y'all wouldn't even expect me to do that shit. The green Gucci's. Hey, the book went off. What? Huh. You can hear it. Oh, okay. Every time I come over here, you got my drawers on, man. It used to be cute, not like disturbing. Is that what you like? You like to wear, man? Huh. You had to run around this house and you got the pants on. Oh, I thought about the last time I was over here. I said, what When I come through, switch to my. I'm not going to go to the about me <laughs> as soon as I turned away they started talking to you everybody jumped off the motherfucking live I told you I don't give a fuck if I was Doja Cat listen I could have been on here painting and painting for four hours like Doja Cat bro she never came to the camera never she's not even painting a painting the bitch is painting a fucking wall Nobody left out that fucking live. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of motherfuckers in there. These motherfuckers don't give a fuck. Nigga drop the blunt, try to pick it up. They gone. birthday coming up March 12th I'm really thinking I should go fuck with that Thailand it's like I've been wanting to do cause really I ain't uh, I swear I done did so much of this shit so many times this shit really don't even be about nothing for real like I was seeing a lot of motherfuckers getting minks and shit and I was saying, like, bro, I got to get this green mink made. <laughs> and I went to the shit. And I went to the people. <clears throat> oh, shit. I went to the people. I went to, like, three furriers. And then dog just happened to be in my city. I was going to go to New York next month. Me and you. We were supposed to go this month for my homeboy to the funeral. But I was so high when I finally re- looked up and realized the date I was supposed to be in New York. It was already three days after my man's funeral. But I kept saying, like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to go up to New York and just grab the green fur. But like I said, this shit don't be about nothing so much that I was seeing niggas grabbing little furs and shit. And, you know, usually that shit will motivate me. Hey, hit me right now. I got my other phone in my hand. How about this? Hit me, and I'm going to text you my number and just send it to the phone. That'll work way better for me, bro. I don't know what the fuck been up with that email. But um, like I was saying, that should usually motivate me. See a nigga get a car. See a nigga get a chain. That's why I got so many chains and rings and shit. Because I just want to be the best. Like, But I was seeing niggas grabbing little minks and shit. That shit wasn't even... Like, I done did this shit so many times. I said, man, fuck that shit. I did my favorite make a bitch cut it up. She got mad. Slow life. Big dogs. Big dog, stuff it in her 
pussy if she see the cops. I'm yeah. for a knob, yeah. I put them down to be the eye. Them girls came in, got them nice. Yeah. If you want to Cut my fucking mink up. The bitch was sitting in the fucking basement. Like, on the fucking couch. The bitch get mad and I puts her out. She come back acting like she looking for some shit. And while I'm upstairs, while the bitch acting like she looking for shit, she's downstairs, literally. She grabbed a knife out the kitchen. Clever little bitch. I swear to God, I didn't see her. She's downstairs in the basement, cutting my mink the fuck up. <laughs> and then the bitch hops in the truck, cutting the seats of the truck up. <laughs> then I had another bitch, um, shoes down. It was like downstairs. Another bitch, little Uggs, was downstairs. By the mink. She cussed the bitch Uggs up like crazy girl. I'm trying to tell y'all. But like I was saying, the shit don't be about nothing. So I was seeing niggas grabbing shit. And I'm like, bruh, I could just kill niggas. I could just go get the green boy made and just kill niggas. Like, fuck it. But the shit just kept not being about shit, though. For real, like, that shit wasn't even about shit. And then I was thinking about, like, man, I need to go grab some old jewelry. Like, three, four chains, all platinum, since I went crazy with the gold. But then I sat back and I thought about it. I say, man, these niggas out here buying new jewelry, swapping out the old jewelry. I say, man, that shit ain't about shit. But then my dog, Daniel's son, he came up to the D. I was over here, like, right now. I'm chilling right here. I'm sitting right here. And I get an Instagram notification. I say, damn. They always had a notifications on for Daniel's son. But they never notifi notified me. That bitch talk about he in the D. I say, okay, for sure. For sure. For sure. So I went up there and grabbed that shit. But this shit really ain't about nothing, bro. Hey, listen, I have been having money since I was a kid, but you want to know something? What I realized with this money shit, bro, a nigga can have a million dollars. A nigga can have a couple thousand. Like my big bro once told me, you got to sit down and figure out how much money do it take for you to live and do all of the things that you want to do for the rest of your life. Once you figure out that number, all this other shit is obsolete. Like, for real, for real. Because then it's like, you know how much to save, to put up and save. So when you hit that, and 50 boy, you living. But it's like, now nah, I just know how to spend it and what to spend this shit on. So a motherfucker never know how much I got. I have 5,000. And that shit will look like I got 100,000. I have 100,000. That shit will look like I got a billion. A nigga never know. Because I just know what to spend my money on now. It's a lot of bullshit in this world that's being produced. But if you just spend your money on the right shit, I'm telling you, you're going to look like money, you're going to feel like money, you're going to feel like you got something for your money. Instead of just buying a little bullshit, frivolous shit. Like, I even throw y'all one. I don't buy gym shoes. That's the biggest shim sham flu flam a nigga can ever get into. Buying Jordans, buying Nikes. Man, fuck that shit. If you buy you some expensive shoes, bro, them bitches going to last way longer. You're going to feel better. The reaction that you get from people is going to even make you feel and make you want to even go harder at whatever you're doing to get more of that shit, man. And then on the lows, if you go straight to the store, like, I'm <coughs> Gucci <coughs> right now. If I order this shit from Gucci and I fuck it up, I can send it back to Gucci. If I walk in Gucci, I can give it back to them and have them, you know, make my shit right. And if they can't make my shit right, they're going to send me a new one. Or if that bitch out of model, out of style, what they'll do is they'll send you the updated version. If you fuck the bitch up. So, paying, what this shit say? 2900 for some shoes It'll behoove you If you can take them bitches back If they get fucked up You can't do that shit with no Nikes $250 I ain't gonna lie 
if I get some fucking fresh air Jordans for $300 and I keep them bitches in the box too long because I forgot them bitches and then when I open them up, them bitches orange and yellow. Because shoes do do that. You got to let them bitches breathe. Now, I haven't experienced that with the high, you know, what do you call it? High fashion, those type of shoes. I ain't experienced that shit yet. I could put them bitches in boxes, bags, and all of that shit and keep them bitches stored the fuck up. They ain't turned. They ain't got, the soles ain't got weak where them bitches start breaking off and none of that shit. But with that Nike shit, if I buy some motherfucking Air Force Ones for 150, bro, and I go to the club and I spill some shit on my shit and my shit fucked up, I'm going to be pissed in a bitch. Because Nike, they're not about to take them shoes back. They're not about to fix them. They're not about to clean them, bitches. They're not about to do nothing. Them bitches get bent up and shit, man. Nike throwing you to the fucking wolves. They telling you go buy another pair. Them Gucci's get bent up. Them, them Gucci soles get fucked up. Man, you go back in Gucci and be like, uh-uh. Y'all told me this ain't going to happen. Like, I would have never brought it if... They be like, no, no, calm down, sir. Uh, send it into here. Or bring them up here. Or we'll take them and let us get your address. Let's let's find you in the system. They're going to take care of you. So you got to get more bang for your buck, man. I'm trying to tell you. And don't be afraid to tell them, listen. Don't be afraid to come in there with a, a stacky on you. And put it in their face and show them the money. But still ask them motherfuckers for a discount. Don't be scared to do that shit. That shit don't make you broke. Listen, bro. I I go shopping all the time. I be seeing motherfuckers. They don't, they don't come in there. They send a bitch in there. Them little Chaldean bitches. Them Arab hoes. All them motherfuckers. Bro, go to the mall. I'm telling y'all. Go to the mall like around 2 o'clock. Right before they got to go get the kids. Man, you're going to see them bitches in there buying up a storm, asking for all kind of discounts and all kind of shit. It ain't broke to ask for a discount, even from the store. Man, I go in Gucci. I go in Louis. Man, Louis, no, I'm a motherfucking offender. I went. Was Hey, was it October or November? Oh, you were in here. My bad. I thought you went back there. October or November, I was going only Louis. I don't know. But listen, it's either it was October or November, maybe September. I wore Louis every day. Man, every time I went in that motherfucker, I asked for a discount. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Not October. Okay, for sure. Now, did I get a discount all the time? No. Do people know that I got a discount? No. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, you can go on Louis. You can go on Gucci anywhere. Ask for a fucking discount. You might get something. They might throw you a fucking bone. Tell y'all, man. It's a way to do this shit. You just got to know what to buy. And especially they see you spinning that yaper. Because I be in that motherfucker spinning, man. Them motherfuckers be doing all kind of shit. Buying me drinks, buying me lunch. I mean, them motherfuckers getting fucked up. On my feet. When y'all see me in the mall... I'm getting fucked up. That's why I got a couple people with me. Cause I be in them bitches. I'm, I'm be shopping like a motherfucker. You see, I come in there just to get fucked up because I shop so much. So my orders be already put in before I get there. Like, I might want to go to Gucci tomorrow. So I'm looking on the website right now. I'm going to uh, screenshot all this shit, send it to my people over there. Whoever catch the order first By the time I walk in there They already had a shit put up for me So now I'm just kicking and sitting there drinking You feel me? I ain't looking for shit I ain't doing none of that So if you walking up trying to, you know Violate, you know We gonna be on point Cause we ain't even looking for shit We just in there just getting drunk at that point We walked in there We already handed them the stack They going to get the shit and boxing it up For real, for real so now we just in there talking shit, getting drunk. Just to have a world star moment. Like, for real, for real. I'm not going to lie to you. Just to have a world star moment if it pop off. You know, you can't be such a, like, shadow to the people where they don't see you. So I got to walk in the store just so a motherfucker can see me. 
And I'm standing there just for a world star moment. I'm telling y'all the truth. The shit is already brought. The shit is already found. I could send a bitch, but no, I'm coming in there just for the world star moment. Out there, though. <coughs> and I'm for the new green boots. <coughs> I'm for these green boots. Some black ones too. Black ones with no um, no lace. That's dope. Um, a, a small bowl, baby. I appreciate it. For real. Man, I've been in here almost two hours. I ain't took this mink off. I'm fucked up. Loafers anymore. Okay, we can get them bitches cracking one time. I always wanted some loafers when I was a kid. I remember like whipping up on my uncle block when I was a shorty, right? Hey man, turn this shit down. So they can hear me. Alright, so listen. I always wanted some loafers in this while y'all. When I was younger, I remember some shit popped off. And I remember my pops putting us in this little, uh, he had this motherfucking, what car was we driving at the time? My pops had a lot of shit. We was in a Charger, so he put us in a Charger. We ain't no kid kids, but he like, hey, Liz, it's time to go. We got to roll out. So we whip up on my uncle block. So my uncle comes outside. And then my pops just started laughing instantly. Like I was one of them kids. When the gangsters would be talking, I'd be all ears trying to see what the fuck is going down, how is it going down, and why is it going down. So my pops laughing at my uncle. And he, you know, asking him what happened yesterday when he got arrested. And why he ain't run. You know, because they caught him with the pistol and the work on him. He was like... Man, D.A., I tried to run. Nigga, I had these whole-ass church shoes on, and I slipped in the snow. <laughs> so, like, for the whole week, dog, every time we see my uncle, he'd just be like, slippers? So I always said, man, I got to give me some Gucci loafs, man. That shit is crazy. Nigga try to run for the police to slide and bust his ass in the Gucci loafs. I'm on it. Fuck it. All right, let me check you out. Let me see. Let me see. Stir fry. I'm scared of. I ain't scared of shit, but God. The only thing I gotta do is stay black and die. Straight up. Straight up. That's cool. I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with it. It's just I have my mind on fried, you know. So I know, I, I fucked myself up, huh? Yeah. It was good, though. <clears throat> Zach, you know, what if I you ever do that when you was younger in school? Do it again. <laughs> 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 Telling y'all, I'm smart.
smooth and suave with the ladies. Watch this though. Watch this. Give me a pound. Ah, you was a fuck up. Why would you do that? I know what you're gonna do. I'm on my my live, and you gonna do that here. Let me win. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, how you doing? What's the deal? We ain't doing nothing. We just on here kicking it. I'm eating a Caucasian stir fry. It's delicious. Why don't you try a bite? What you talking about? What the hell is going on between the sheets and my home? No, I ain't never missing. I mean, something to drink. Mm. <laughs> well, what else could be missing? Mm -hmm. We got Sprite? Mm -mm. Mountain Dew? Yeah. Okay. I don't like that other shit. Pepsi? Mm-hmm. You don't like it? Or any of that shit that's like relatively close to it. That should be like making motherfucking fog lights on cars, cleaning and shit. That should be cleaning silver and toilets and shit. That's Coca-Cola. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Anything that's similar to that shit, I ain't fucking with it. That shit is probably some acid, you feel me? I ain't fucking with that shit. dream. We live in this shit. Fuck they talking about, man. Hey, listen, we, we live in this shit, man. Rings same as the earring. We live in this shit. Whole bunch of earrings in, in the rain, man. We live in this shit. They ain't, hey, Bill, they ain't think we could do this shit. They ain't think we could do cashmere to the flow and shit. They ain't think we could do this shit. I ain't think we gonna do this shit. Come on, man. The west side, the best side is dead. For real. I be overdoing this shit. I gotta do this shit for Ace. Oh, I, got, I be over, having an overwoo. You feel me? Look, I could've got one like this. That that hug, that hugs my hips and shit. You know what I mean? Be having a mix that hug their hips. <laughs> hey. Them niggas be having a mix that hug their hips and shit. <laughs> no, I could have did. But I got to do it for my baby. He's not here. Um, put some more on it for my baby. You already got something on it for me. To the flow for my baby. You feel me? Ow. Man. Nails all Hold on. They got some. Oh, you want some goofy shit? You want some goofy? Some goofy goofy? Yeah. Nigga hopped in here and said the goofiest shit to me. Yeah. 
I don't even want to acknowledge you because he's a goofy. Oh. But I got him. Niggas be having hip hoppers. This little girl. It stop right here. Come back. Like the I'm girls. Big boss. I'm like I'm like BK now. Like the girls. I'm like BK now. I said, bitch. I got him. Uh, my brother not here. So put some more on it for me. Mm, I got an overwoop. Put some more on it for me. My brother not here. RP Aces, man. Why would that nigga just come on my live though and say that weird ass shit and then pop off? Where that weirdo at? Let me see if I can tap this weird ass in here. I want to go live. That's crazy. That shit crazy as hell. I hope you pop back on here. I want to know what his motive is, what his angle is. If you got the paperwork, show me. And we'll be on that nigga ass. I swear to God. I swear. I swear to you. If you got the paperwork, we'll be on that nigga ass. I, I won't lie to you. I don't know about everybody else. I'm talking about me. I still, I live by the cold, for real. I got the shit all on my back. All everywhere, man. I live by the cold. So if you got that work, show it. I ain't gonna play. And I announced that bitch to the world too, man. I'll show it to everybody. I'll become the enemy of the motherfucking world if, it, if it's that real work. You know niggas be mad about that. The whole world, this bitch, I'm mad about it right now. I'm gonna Spit on phone. I ain't gonna do that shit. shit. That nigga's a hustle. You know what a hustle is, Frank? I pig that on fly straight, man. That nigga's a pig that on fly straight. Mmm. You can't even eat my food right after then. That little hustle just hopped on here and said that shit. But I'm gonna keep it P though. I'm gonna keep it P. I'm gonna keep pushing prayers and positivity. You gotta keep it P. You gotta push some prayers and positivity. I'm cool, y'all. I'm cool. Get that shit up quick. Mine too. Do the shit. You ain't even trying to enjoy it. That whole thing enjoy. it or none of that. Damn. Okay. You just enjoy things differently, don't you? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, y'all, I'm gone. Some people don't like that I'm an internet personality. Then we cut the cameras off. So, so. <sighs> once again, I ain't your friend. Uncle B K Baby Truth. I don't know why they say that. It's Baby Truth. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me in my DMs. Let me know what we can talk about, what we can chat about. We just not gonna talk about nobody else's business. Unless they just an outright snitch. We then we'll talk about their business. Fuck them. But we're not gonna get in the chatty patty about other men's business. We can talk about my business, my shortcomings. We can laugh at me. That'd be cool. I laugh with y'all. But don't laugh too hard, because I'm be laughing at you. But, Jungle.